Oh! Me almost dropped my lights. Be careful. Hi guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today I'm super excited to be doing an unboxing of um, some puppy pots that a company Waco sent me. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I'm super sorry. Um, but let's get to it guys. <laughs> Today I am super excited to, sorry, I'm going to see if my address is on there, I don't want to, my P.O. box, it's okay, um, to do an unboxing from a company called Waycoy, 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 um, they reached out to me to um, check out their pots, so I'm excited to check them out. I'm gonna pop them up so let's get to it right and get to this super quick because I've had the box um, for about a week or two just wasn't able to get to it and they wanted to send me send me a code for you guys to have a discount so I wanted to wait for that as well so I don't know if I'm saying their name correctly way coy but they have the cutest little um, puppy pots. So when they told me if I wanted to check them out, I said, yeah. So they have a bulldog, a husky, and a Pomeranian. So, oh, it's the whole set. That's awesome. Um, open these. I'm so excited now. I didn't realize it was three. It was like a whole set. It is hot out here. I thought it was going to be cool outside and it's not. And I hope I'm recording. So it says thank you. Follow us on Facebook. I have them on my um, Instagram. And that's where they reached out to me. So these are super cute. And really well packaged. Oh my god. This is the Pomeranian. Oh my god, he's a cutie. And it's it's night outside, so I hope I'm doing these pots some justice with my lighting. That was a cute, that's super, super cute. This is the Husky, oh my god. I think he's my favorite so far. Then I have the bulldog. Oh my god, look at his mean mug. Oh, <laughs> he's a cutie. Alright, these are super cute. Um, I hope you guys can see. And they have, hold on a second, they do have drainage holes, which is big plus, guys. Big plus for the drainage holes because we all know how well I do with drainage holes. Um, my husband brought me some water. Actually, Hawaiian punch, diet, sugar free. So they have drainage holes and then they have these um, little filters. This is super cool. They have plugs if you want to plug um, the bottom, and they have little filters, so I don't have to cut from my, um, I usually cut some of this, um, I don't know if it's sheetrock um, or painter's tape, I don't know what they call this thing, I stole it from my husband. And of course, Trying to find the lead 
on tape. That's basically what I'm doing here, and I cannot find it. Ah. So it's, this is what I usually use on my pot, the bottom of my pots, because it has, you know, nice big holes, but not too big where the soil will run through. But these are awesome. These little filters, I'm going to put them in there so the soil doesn't go through. I do have some soil ready. And look how cute. I love these tags. <gasps> how cool. Oh, I like that. These are little um, ID tags for your plants. So that's super cool. I, I like those ID tags. They, not too big, not too small. I write big, so I need enough space to fit my letters. So I'm gonna fill them with soil. I have some pre-mixed soil here. Use my little tool set. Where's my shovel? I don't have my shovel. I try to be a little more organized with a little caddy for all my things and I still um, am missing stuff because I work out here, I work inside, I work everywhere and then um, yeah. And I'm going to work with cuttings. Just going to put some alcohol on my scissors. Half of that. Alright. So, I'm going to cut from this Grab the Pedalum Murasaki. And when I propagate, I like to cut in between and leave some leaves on the stem so that new um new new little buds will grow all right so just cut i'm going to take a couple of these leaves off to propagate as well just twist them off and this is good because it has a little piece of flesh just want enough of a stem that one's good too nice little fleshy part on it so that it'll um Ooh, nice. So that it will stick, stay in there well. And that's it. I mean, I don't even need to put um, any, any um, top dressing because that's pretty covered in there. But I will fill this a little higher with soil. And, oh wait, I forgot I wanted to use some rooting hormone. I have it here. Just going to dip it in there. I'm so not organized. So, I just put some rooting hormone on there and I'm going to stick it in there. Voila. Alright, so that's one. She's a cutie. I should name them. That should be Balto. I don't know if Balto was a. What is that? Kind of thing that was. It's some kind of wolf, dog, husky. I think Balto was a husky. So that's Balto. This is just some um, potting soil and some surface for now. I didn't get any. I didn't get fancy with it. Um, trying to decide what I want to put in here. I'm thinking this little guy. This is a little um, some type of a Hawartia. I don't have the actual name, and it's super found. If I can um, loosen them up a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be the case. If I can just get some of the soil out of there. I can release the roots. Release the dragon!
you know um untying knots <laughs> can be very um stress relieving believe it or not i remember when my son was young um i would give him some like yarn that was all knotted up it was kind of a punishment so that he can chill out but he actually enjoyed it like he would sit there and try and untangle the knots and I realized that that can be kind of um, challenging and satisfying strangely satisfying when you do a not something. I don't know if you've ever done that or not. Huh? Not. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't remember if it was cord, like, um, like, it was something that I gave him and, and gave it to him to unknot it. It's like, you sit there and chill out and unknot this and then I'll come back and check on you and he after at first he was very like angry that he had to do it but after a while it was like a challenge to him and he was into it and I know like when I have um like my macrame and stuff when it gets knotted because I take it everywhere <laughs> and then I just throw it in a bag and then when I have to deal with it I have the the string in a bunch of knots um, it is strangely satisfying to untie knots try it frustrating but satisfying roots now I can release a lot of this old soil so I'm gonna pause while, while I do that so I got most of the soil out of there this really did need to get repotted um, so I'm glad I chose this one to put in there All right so I'm gonna put that in there fill it up with a little more and I know guys I haven't done much succulent related stuff lately um, it's been super hot for the summer and my succulents have um, had a hard summer difficult summer struggling summer um, I don't know what it was but I had I have been battling mealybugs like you wouldn't even believe but you know what I don't think it's just in my area I've heard like a lot of people complain about it in California and different areas so I know it was not just me I don't know if me if um since I haven't really used the systemic pest control I hope I'm recording if that made a difference or not you know I've been trying to use more natural um more natural ways of um, dealing with pests but you know what these pests don't care they don't care if you're natural if you're organic they're gonna come and they're gonna destroy your plants so um as much as I want to use natural and organic and you know be kind and awesome to um to my plants um these mealy bugs don't care so I'm gonna have to bring out the big guns if um I can't get these things under control I mean, I've, I think now that it's cooling down a little bit, and it's still hot. I mean, it's Florida. It is hot. Um, um, I'm hoping that it gets better. So, and I've been, you know, treating the mealybugs with uh, alcohol, neem oil, diatomaceous earth, peroxide, all kind of stuff. I'm just trying to do what I can. But worse comes to worse, which I feel like worse comes to worse has 
come and gone a long time ago and I don't know why I've been reluctant to um, bring out the big guns but uh, yeah gonna have to do that if um, they don't stay at bay because I'm done with them over them they have made my succulents and my life miserable so yeah so I, I, I will be doing a, a tour of my succulents probably in the next week two weeks three weeks um i do have some succulent projects that i would uh, that i want to get done updates on um my tapestry and stuff like that um but yeah keep in mind i've been dealing with a lot of pests so um just your show cutie look at that y'all dirty though now so I like the way that looks and I think it's gonna grow really nicely I need to get like a towel or something for this I should move this stuff so you guys can see these oh, I, don't know. I can't even see in the okay there's that I have a hot mess here I'm a hot mess um and then I have the bulldog all right so what's this guy's name he is a Pomeranian and he has like a little spiky thing he's I don't know I can't think of a name comment down below what you think the name should be Balto I thought was perfect because I love that movie and I think it's the, uh, the same dog but um you don't know what to put this for this Pomeranian puppy pot all right and then I have the bulldog <laughs> I remember um, growing up, my sister had a, a bulldog called um, Cheefers, and <laughs> you know the, their little tails look like a weird little bun, and my niece, Ivalice Gigi, I love her so much, <laughs> she has this cute, adorable, curly, blonde hair, like dirty blonde hair, and they would put her hair in a bun. And she would cry out, I don't want a cheaper's butt, I don't want a cheaper's butt. Because her, <laughs> her hair bun would look like our bulldog's butt, his tail. <laughs> and I, I still bother her about that. And she's like 28, I want to say. Sorry if I don't have your age right. I'm terrible with age. Um, but yeah, the things you remember about kids. What am I going to put in this one? What is speaking to me? No. Almost want to put this in there. Is that bulldoggy? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's so like un unkempt. I don't think I want to put that in there. Maybe this here, etch of area. What do you think? I think I like that. Alright, let's see if I left enough room in there. And this is, um, I think that Agavoides. So clearly this guy has to be cheaper. Or Gigi. <laughs> My niece's name, Gigi. Or her nickname, which is what everybody calls her. Gigi or Cheaper, what do you guys think? Let me know. I still can't think of anything for the Pomeranian. And I apologize for the table grinding glass. I know somebody had asked me to please get um, one of those little uh, Lazy Susans. And I keep meaning to get one, but I haven't found one. So, alright. So cute. Thank you so much, Waco, for giving me the opportunity to, um, oh no, this is not good. To uh, check out your products. I really love them. I believe they said that the price for them are $24.99. I will link down below um, the their page 
where you can find them. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up a little bit because I have a hot mess. This is the rooting powder um, I use. I'm sure they have others, but that's the one I use. Most of the products that I do use, I have affiliate links down below. You can click on them, you can not click on them, however you, you know, whatever you, you choose. I have, um, you know, it helps me out. I don't, any uh, purchases you make on there, I get a minuscule percentage of the proceeds and it doesn't cost you any more or less than what the product is worth. So if you wanna, I love you for it. If you don't, I don't hate you for it. Let me throw this here. I just appreciate you guys either way, links, no links, just for everything you do, for your encouragement, for your, um, for watching, for all the comments you guys give, you guys like have encouraged me like beyond how, what you can imagine. Um, anyone that knows me in real life knows that I have never in my life liked to have pictures taken, videos, forget about it. Um, I would delete people's videos of me on their phones. Um, because I was just self-conscious uh, but you guys have given me so much encouragement so much love so much just support that I've really gotten over my my um, squeamishness of being on camera and I I cannot even like explain how much that means to me just to be able to share my passion for plants for you guys to enjoy it give me so many kind beautiful supportive comments like you guys don't even understand how much that means to me um, in another video I'll probably explain how much um, you know how this all came about but I really think it stems from me being away from my family and the plants just really not taking a place for them but just kind of filling me with a joy where I have a lot of you know feel like I, I, I don't have my family here because I moved to Florida and they're in New York so it just like it's a way for me to just have a little joy here <laughs> um and especially like my mom she loves like plants house plants like she sees my succulents when she came over she saw all my succulents and she doesn't really know how to care for them because it's not anything that she's ever um owned before but house plants she's like the queen of house plants so i think i filled my home with them hoping to lure her down here a little bit um and maybe one day mommy <laughs> Um, and Poppy, I love you guys so much. Um, but guys, uh, these are the pots. Thank you so much, Waco. Wakoi, Waku, Wake. I don't know how to say your name, but um, thank you so much for these for allowing me to review your pots. I think they're adorable. I love them. I can't wait to put them um, outside and see these guys grow. Uh, thank you. That's the name of the company, Wakoi. Wake up, I wake up, I wake up, I. Oh my God! They have more. So I got three. I got these three puppy pots, but they have these three. Look at this grumpy guy. Oh, I don't know if you can see him. He's so cute. I don't know why I like the grumpy ones, like the bulldog. He's grumpy. I told, <laughs> I told my husband he looks like the bulldog. And then I don't know what that one is. But they're cute either way. Thank you so much, Waco I. Waco I. Waco I. I want to thank Waco for allowing me to review these adorable little pots. I love them. I'm so happy to have them in my. Um, in my collection they are absolutely the cutest little things they have the pomeranian help me name that guy <laughs> guys comment down below what you think the pomeranian's name should be um this one i think chiefers or gg let me know what you think and then this one just has to be balto for me um unless you guys can think of a cuter name more appropriate name than that thank you so much uh waco i will put a link down below to their website i believe they sent me a five percent off code or something percent off code i will include that as well um you can check in the description down below 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place, one succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye!